Why would a future military field trench coats? In many sci-fi books, films and video games, the baddies need to have something that sets them apart from our strong-jawed heroes. Typically in the form of a gas mask and trench coat, especially if they are space Nazis. Hiss. And while looking both cool and good little black targets, it did get me thinking. Why would a future military field a trench coat? Asides from looking evil, possibly giving some warmth, comfort and maybe some protection if made of the right stuff, I just don't see any practical reason why the standards issue uniform would be the trench coat. But I would like to know if someone else have any other ideas. Some points the base our assumptions of of the environment that these uniforms are deployed in are Earth-like and indoor. For sake of simplicity, environments like vacuum and extreme worlds such as Titan Titan's a moon I know are going to be ignored because they would require a spacesuit to survive. Though if you want to add a reason why a Astro Solida would wear a trench coat in such conditions, be my guest. The military has access to advanced materials like CNT, graphene, spider silk, future polymers etc. The length of the coat will be split into two types, long, which reach above the heels, and short, which hang around just over top or bottom of the knees. Any shorter and it's a tunic. Please note, I'm asking this question as something to keep in mind of when designing a worlds I'm currently working on. I do not know if I'll include trench coats into any setting, it really depends on this post and what I want in this world. First, some history. The first recognizable trench coat was first introduced during the First World War, hence the name. It was not, however, invented specifically for the trenches, as the name might imply, it was actually meant to be a lighter weight, more comfortable and less fussy version of the 19th century greatcoat. Both had the same overall purpose, however, which was to keep soldiers, more typically, officers, warm while on campaign in cold, rainy Western Europe. Some trench coats had a rubber lining to make them waterproof, while others were made of thick, water-resistant and potentially antibacterial wool. Trench coats fell out of military use in the early days of World War II, because they could hinder forward movement in the far more mobility-oriented conflict. However, the German military continued to use them, particularly the officers of the SS. I'm not sure what advantage the SS thought this might grant them, and my suspicion is that it was meant to set them apart from the regular Wehrmacht more than anything else. So, what are trench coats good for? They keep you warm, especially when lined and properly buttoned, and if they have the right coating, they can keep you dry as well. Any conflict that were to break out in cold, rainy country, and which does not necessitate rapid attack or deployment, might reinvigorate the trench coat. Silly as it may sound, in a border conflict between the United States and Canada might see the resurgent use of trench coats in the Cascades and Great Lakes theaters of the conflict. Let's get weirder. Maybe a war has broken out on a planet or moon which rains something really weird, liquid methane, perhaps. Let's handwave up some material that can protect against the extreme cold temperature of such a planet and the negative effects of, well, methane rain, yet is not as bulky as a full spacesuit, yet would not be as effective if it was just worn as an old man's war-style tactical leotard. If such a conflict does necessitate rapid attack and deployment, but protection from the elements is still a serious concern, then soldiers in protective face masks and ankle-length trench coats is not so crazy. Ditto for an environment where radiation might be a concern, whip up some magical rad-blocking material, then throw on an extra layer of the stuff just in case, and hey maybe it should cover not just the torso but as much of the legs as possible too, while we're at it. Think an inner system planet close to an angry sun, or combat aboard a ship with an active reactor leak. Basically, any setting in which flexible coverage providing protection from ambient elements you can come up with, would at least be a setting where trench coats don't seem completely daft. And, I mean, pair it with a good suit and the right hat, everyone looks good in a trench coat, even the good guys. Take that, space Rotsies.